this mission is called Qtera. It has two hand piece. One is an IPO hand piece. One is a laser hand piece. IPO is a diffused light. Uh, the laser is a focused uh, amplified light. So this is an IPO hand piece, and it's a 560 wavelength. But it actually emits different uh, lights of wavelength versus this one. This one is 1064 and wavelength. So 1064, 560. This one, the deeper, uh, the longer the wavelength, the deeper the penetration. So longer wavelength goes deeper. So it could get the uh, hair follicles. It could heat up the, uh, the water and some of the melanin. Now this is 560, a superficial, uh, shorter wavelength. Therefore, there's more scattering. It treats superficial um, pigmentation, melanin that's on the epidermis. Therefore, this is more for sunspots and for superficial vascular lesions. This picks up chromophores or targets well in the uh, melanin absorption range and um, blood hemoglobin. And this picks up um, melanin and hemoglobin and some water not as well as this one and that's why this is safer um, okay let's go all right so if we're doing a laser hair removal we want it to be a spot size 10 deeper wavelength and if we're doing laser genesis for our skin rejuvenation we want to do spot size Five. So laser hair removal, removal spot size 10, laser genesis spot size 5. So let's look at the laser part. Now you click this and you actually, you could go here and you cut. So we're at the laser hair removal uh, spot size 10. Now there's three parameters. You have the joules or the heat. You have the pulse width you have also the repetition rate. So in terms of laser hair removal, you always keep it usually at one to two hertz. And this is the pulse width. Keep in mind, the lower, the more dangerous. The shorter the pulse duration, it may burn the epidermis easier. The longer, the safer. You'll bypass the uh, epidermis jewels. The higher the joules, the more heat, so more dangerous. The lower the joules, safer. Stop. So before treatment, we usually push this one to zero it out. It shows you number of pulses you're using. So we have a, a patient with my skin type. I would say I'm around um, skin type four. And um, I would start for beginners at 40 joules and this is a very conservative setting and 40 pulse width on the second session then you could decide to increase the heat for this or increase the heat for the pulse width usually cut. so uh, the first time we're at 40 heat and 40 pulse width and next visit patient said well I didn't see much results and it's been eight weeks so if you increase the heat here by five and this would be a fine adjustment compared to if you increase the pulse width I mean decrease the pulse width by five an increase of joules by five and decrease of pulse width by five which one is more puts more heat this one pulse yeah um, decreasing the pulse width puts more heat by increment of five this is a stronger adjustment, weaker adjustment, fine tuning. Yeah. So in terms of uh, Afro-American skin type uh, five or six, we would usually start with like 50, oh, sorry. <laughs> we would start with 30, and then we would start with 50. And uh, we don't have very many patients in that range, but at least one point is in my you never uh, do an IPO on Afro-American skin.
because at that wavelength, the absorption is just way too powerful. And okay. So with uh, Afro-American skin, we, while we cannot use IPL, we can treat them using laser hair removal and also laser genesis. And the reason is at 1064 absorption rate, the absorption rate for melanin is a lot lower. Therefore, it's a lot safer for um, Afro-American type of skin. So 1064 is a great wavelength to work with for ethnic skin type.